Welcome to A Bridge Podcast, hosted by Nod and produced by Pat Alphonse and King Roach. On this show, we will discuss all topics that range from sports, entertainment, and the lifestyles that shape our lives. None of this will be possible without the support of our family and loved ones. Follow us on abridgepodcast.com. All right, today on A Bridge, man, we bring you Brooklyn Elite, man. Miss, We got Mr. Robert Phelps in the building. You heard? Yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right to it, man, because this is like long awaited. It's not enough um not enough credit given to a lot of the guys that that really stuck it out, man, that are really helping to shape the young the young men and women in our community, man. But Mr. Phelps is definitely one of them. Rob, thanks for coming, man. No it's doubt, a pleasure having brothers. you, man. No doubt. Appreciate it. Well, I know what 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 all that's going on in the world is different and um <clears throat> as a mentor as a mentor and, and coach and stuff like that, I know like you're dealing with a lot now in reference to just um, keeping these keeping these young men and women in line, man. But you know, let's let's not even um, short the people, man. Let's tell them about you, man. Well, I want you to take it to us from the beginning, like where you from, your roots. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn, you know, man. Brooklyn. Yeah. I read definitely, yeah. definitely. You guys know, you know, from Brooklyn. You know, born and raised Brownsville, Bed Stuy. You know, um, came up in Brownsville. You know, uh, honed all my skills and, and tutelage and everything I've learned in, in Brooklyn. Man. Okay, so, you know, that's crazy because I, I got um I got handled one day. Dude tried to because I was like, nah, bro, I was from Crown Heights or or East Flatbush, yeah, and this yeah. dude went crazy. He's like, yo, he from the Ville, <laughs> and that's it, boy. Y'all gonna claim y'all own, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, originally, I'm originally from uh, Brownsville. Okay, um, okay. And um, but then my family we relocated. Okay. We moved into Bed Stuy, so okay. I grew up in Brownsville, Bed Stuy. Right, right, in the trenches. Yep, yep, yep. In the so trenches. That's, that's, but at the end of the day, it's Brooklyn. Man. Yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> The state of Brooklyn, this is huge, man. So, like, where'd you develop, like, your love for the game? Like, what made you, um, like, navigate towards that? Well, it really, it all started in, in, in Brownsville and in, in, uh, BRC. Okay, you know, shout out to Jocko. And yeah, Jocko. Yep. Right, right, um, Fly Williams. Yeah, that's where it all started for me at uh, 275. And just uh, with Coach Gustus. That's on that's on Rockaway, right? Yeah, Two seventy five. Okay. Um, right, right near the plaza. Right. They got the old they got the old guy tournament in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fit, right Fifty and over. <laughs> yeah, I used to play in Plaza, DRC, but that's that's where it all oh, started. Oh, you different. You played yeah, in the you know, Plaza. Yeah, Woo. Plaza. You all that. That's yeah. where you know uh, the the toughness, the grittiness. You know, <laughs> it just started there. And um, Tilden played in Tilden. Right, right, so, right. So you know, we had all those guys. You know, Jamal Faulkner. Um, <laughs> He makes uh, Eric Fernandez, yeah, uh, Greg Jackson, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, all yeah. these guys, man. We all played together and just tuned our, you know, honed our skills and, and, and got better, man. Yeah, just, that's just competing against each other. No, nah, that's serious. That's what it was, man. Also, too, so you come from a real competitive era. You came from a competitive era, so like, you know, growing up, like, as it was said, that's like the the, the younger tournaments or what, Pat? What's that? Um, high energy, high, high energy, high energy yeah, LG. Yeah, LG. All um, that, parks and recreation. All of that. Yeah, man. yeah. We play over at Bessie Head. Woo. All of that, man. We it chased us out of Bessie Head one night. My yeah. man put his sweats on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Bessie Head, man, it was tough over there. Yeah. But that's but that's what it was, you know, all about, man. And it's a little different now because kids don't really travel. I remember when we were younger, I was 12, 13, 14 years old on the train. Right, right, right. I was doing all oh, that. Oh, they Uber you know, kids, so, Uber yeah, and Lyft. Everybody's Uber, which is understandable. It's a yeah. little different, but... um. But you got to get out there, man. You I had a basketball play. player tell me one day he don't play on concrete. <laughs> we grew up on concrete. I said, what? Man. We grew up on concrete. What are you saving your knees for? Like, I'm yeah. trying to figure it out. Listen, man, we grew up on co- concrete, but, you know, that's why we were so tough. Where, where were you playing and, and, like, and like what were you doing, like, you know, in, in, in your junior high school and your formidable years that had you um, considering, like, you know, when it was time for you to consider high schools, and stuff like that. When were you playing or who were you playing for? Well, originally, I was supposed to go to Boys and Girls. Okay. That's where I was, that's where I got accepted to. And you know what's crazy? We talk about that all the time on this show. The high, a lot of people don't know, the high is a public school. Yes. Meaning they're not a zone school. Right. That's why he always got players from Brownsville, Red Hook, right. and Paul Brown had players from everywhere. Yep. And Brown was a coach then, right? Yes, Paul right. Brown. It really, it, I was supposed to originally go to um, Boys and Girls. Okay. My, uh, my point guard from... 275 Daryl Scott who played that boys and girls. Okay. It was supposed to be me, Daryl, and Bud. 
Okay. At, at All right, shout Mills. out to Bud. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was um, Nazareth came in later. Okay. And they was like, listen, we want you to come and we're going to, you know, help get you into school and everything. And and my mother was like, listen. He rolled that carpet going. out? Yeah, they rolled the carpet <laughs> out. And my Mom. mother was like, that's where you're going. You know, great academic school. Nothing against boys and girls. But at that time, Catholic schools were right, right. the thing to, to do for education and sports. So, you know, they rolled out the red carpet for me and that's where I ended up. At nah, now. that's what's up, though. That's what's up. And it led, it, it led, to, a, it led to a serious story. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It led to a serious story, you know what I mean? So it's like when you, like, well, shout out to Miss Phelps. When when Mars made the decision right. that the Kingsman is what it's going to be and everything, like, how did you feel as a freshman going in? Um, I felt did good. you know what to expect? Yeah, like, I knew what to expect. I knew the number one thing is that at that time, you know, it was uh, very strict. Okay. You know, uh, Total different environment from what I was coming out of at 275. Okay. Um, more structure. More structure. Right. You know, discipline, everything. So I was really looking forward to that. Okay. That, that change and that challenge because I knew it was going to get me ready for college. Right, right. But you've always been a good, you've always been a good character, dude. Yeah. And like, and I say that, and that's not to assassinate no one else because we all go through stuff as kids and we grow up and we be around different people and everything. But you've always been. Like, you know, you carried yourself, like, you know, sad to say, but the reality is you carried yourself like a Catholic school kid, mm -hmm. whereas a public school kid, you right. know, a little more rough around the edges and everything. Right. And that's cool. I think, Pat, Pat, you're supposed to go to NASA, one of them, right? No, I was uh, supposed to go to Tilden. Oh, Tilden, I Tilden, was Tilden yeah. for a week, yeah. Blue, they said for a week. <laughs> for a week. They that's my paper. His mom said, you're out of here. Out of here. It was too close to the house, man. So. That's like, what, like s about six blocks from six the crib? Six blocks from my crib, yeah. <laughs> and it's two blocks from Nazareth. Tilden is right here. Yeah, Nazareth, yeah, Nazareth right around there. the corner. Yeah. That's what, what that bend is, what, Avenue D? Yep. That yeah, bend, right Clarendon? Right yep. Clarendon, yep. right yeah. Down the street, yep. Nah, that's dope. That's crazy that they're two, like, at that time, two really tough tough programs like a couple of blocks, from, blocks each other. Away from each other and a kid that can't get into NAS ends up at Tilden yeah, yeah. right that's crazy shout yeah, out was, to Tilden shout like out to the I Blue Devils great. Great shout out to my, my my best friend Booby he was a Blue Devil Arthur, Mc, <laughs> Arthur McMillan my guy he's a yes, killer yes. <laughs> my back caught me nah that's what's up all right so you in Tilden now you kind of have an idea in reference you know like you're, you you're embracing the structure and um you're looking forward to your freshman campaign did you play freshman ball your first year there? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was on varsity. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop <laughs> the <out>. pressing. <laughs> this dude a four-year varsity dude? Yeah. Oh, man, y'all ain't give me the heads up. Yeah, I missed yeah, that one. I'm, yeah, and I'm kind of like a, yeah, I'm kinda like a basketball back, guru back here. Back then, it was very rare because most of the guys used to do uh, either freshman or, or JV. And at the time, when I was coming in, you know, and I actually just spoke to Kenny. Kenny was one of the first to really... At that time, to really play varsity in Catholic school. Right, right, right. And then I was like the second one. And we say, Kenny, we got to let the people know. He's talking about Chibs. Yeah, Chibs, you know what I mean? Yeah, Kenny, Chibs, Kenny Anderson, New York City Chibs great. Today. Salute to him, man. I'm glad, yeah. you, I'm glad he's doing well, yeah, man. Little yeah. Chibs. It's my guy. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, so him Kenny and... Kenny was kind of like the, the first one to come in and do it. And then when I came in, I was like one of the second guys. Okay, to come okay. In. That's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. And Gustus was a coach then. Yep, yep. Right, yep. right, right. Shout out to Gustus. Yep. Nah, that's what's up. So, and... um. Coming in as a freshman, wow, was did Brian Gaffney go to um did Brian Gaffney go to Nazareth? Uh I don't know. Or was know. that before I'm you? Sure. I'm not sure. Because your freshman year was My freshman year was eighty Jesus. Taking them back and making yeah. them think. Well, I, I, putting them out here. Eighty six, eighty six, eighty five, eighty six. Wow. Like and I was wrapping it up about then. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's so, dope. Yeah, that was my that was my freshman year. And uh, I did, did pretty well, man. Coming as a freshman, um, uh, average like 14 points, 15 points a game. As okay, a nice. Wow, that's you know, big. Yeah. Year, Catholic school league was. Oh, you was putting league. it up. Yeah, yeah. It's my man. Yeah, so I was, uh, I did pretty well my, my freshman year. And, um, right. You know, I knew I had to be tough and get better. Right. Okay. That's what's up. So freshman year, 14, 15 point pat. This dude was a bucket getter. Yeah. Out the early. gate. Brownsville, you know, they don't have no problem putting it up. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> they say, oh, your Brownsville thing is like, yo, like, you know, I would not lead this team in assist if I don't have to. Right, right. <laughs> no right. doubt. So going into your second year, that summer, yep. did you play summer ball? Did you play with like with a um Yeah, I was with the uh, Broncos. Oh, you went with the Broncos. Played okay, shout Broncos, out to Rest in Peace, Doc Nacelli. Doc Nacelli. Yeah, man. Guy. Great guy, man. With the Broncos. 
and um, got got better, man. Put in a lot of work. Um, Who played up. with you on that Bronco in that Bronco oh, mall? It was uh, Ephraim, Ephraim Whitehead. Wow, well, shout out to Ephraim. These Ephraim. corny Ephraim. Allen Whitehead. Grady dudes, man. Yeah, they yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Shout out to Pat Alphonse too. A couple of uptown guys. Right, too, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the time. Yeah, a lot of uptown. Yeah. But me and Ephraim was like really the only two Brooklyn, Brooklyn guys bullies on that train, man. Coming back, Brooklyn bullies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was out there, um, doing and was not making that trip to not produce. No, yeah, no, no, you better produce. You had yeah. to go in there and, and do work. And um, and we were traveling all over, man. We nah. were playing everywhere. Uh, that's what's up. We would make that trip back. But yeah, so, that, and that was good. That's what's up, man. Salute to that, man. So on, at, in your second year, mm -hmm. like, like um, at 14, 15 as a freshman, so in your second year, is the ball like primarily handed to you? Yeah, time, it went bro? from... 14, 15 points to 23, 24, my sophomore year. My man was putting it So up. my sophomore year was a vast improvement. Um, I was basically mostly like in a low post. And then mm -hmm. I just extended my game. Right. Started, uh, getting on that wing, up, take, taking that, off. Yeah, yeah, it started taking off. Yes, it jumped, Phelps it again. Yeah, jumped from 23 points. And then that's when I started getting some, a lot of recognition. Recognition, right, right, right. right. City, and um, you know, and just did well, and then I was getting some national. Um, and your count, your your counterparts was Kenny. Oh yeah, Kenny. Kenny, I mean, you, the Kenny, whole Christ the King. Uh, Faulkner. Faulkner. I mean, Khalid was there. Devin yeah. Phelps. I mean, we can go on they, and on. They had a Red, six four. Talent, uh, they had a six three, six four yeah, backcourt, yeah, right? At, at Christ the um, King. Um, you that know, Talentine mob was tough. Yeah. Shout out Francis to them boys. Good. Yeah. I mean, I Sonny Chaplin and them, right? Yeah, That's everybody, Sonny. Everybody. Shelton Lindsay. Shout out to Noodles. Back then, yeah, everybody yeah. was good, man. Everybody was no could K play. Yeah, it wasn't no right. Right. Everybody nah. was good. So, nah, and that, you know, so it was a good, I had a real good sophomore year. Y'all hear that New York City basketball players? Everybody could play. Dudes was not impressed by their man. Like, they didn't think that this kid was better than them. They went at everybody, right. man. That's what we got to get back to, man. Yeah. So your sophomore year, and you're going into your third, you're going into your third year now. I mean, 15 or 20-something. So, <laughs> the notoriety is right. climbing. Then junior year came. Junior year. Junior year went And that's from, like the big year. That's like the recruitment yeah, year. Yeah, that's a big year. Well, I was getting some letters. Okay. My sophomore year. Then my junior year came. You just, still a Bronco at this time? Yeah. You I still, stay, oh, you stayed with the Bronco. I, I was, other people shot. Right, right, right. Lloyd was but, reaching. Yeah, yeah, Lou exactly. was reaching. But I stayed. I stayed with, with, with the Broncos. And okay. Then my, my junior year, my junior year came, and it went from 23 to 28. Woo. So from 23 to 28. My boy had 30 a clip yeah, almost. Yeah, so then that's when it really started happening. And right. you're doing it, you gotta remember in the Catholic League, that was the best. Right, right. Toughest, toughest league in the so country. That's when every you could average coming. you could average at that time, you could average 10 to 12 in the Catholic League and still go major division De one. Definitely. Let's use Talentine that example. Right. They had nine or ten guys going to division, division one. one. Guys right. on the bench going to division one, averaging nine, eight points a game. Yeah. They was playing against the best competition. Exactly. Yeah, so, they had a national you know, schedule. So I was at that time, I mean, I was getting letters from every a a ACC school. Every and you was school. cooking. Oh, yeah. You yeah, was yeah, cooking so them. That's well. my and man. Got, and then that junior year, that's when I was also invited to Princeton at the time. Okay, you're right. The Princeton camp, uh, All American camp right. in Princeton. So I got invited to there my junior year, and I did well. And then they invited me back. Right. My senior year came. Was it New York? Was it New York dominated in that? Oh yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. New York. New York, New York was, was heavy. New York was everywhere. I mean, I could just go. Mashburn was there. Khalid, Derek Phelps, uh, myself, um, Jamal Faulkner. Right. Ron Arnold. I mean, it Ron, goes, shout out to Ron Arnold. Yeah, Ron, Rice Ron, Owls, my boy, baby. Yeah, my boy Ron Arnold. Yeah, shout I mean, out to Ron Arnold. On and on. It, it was just. It was right, just right. Not, not. It was loaded. Yeah, it was, it was loaded, loaded, but that's loaded. dope, though. You got to remember, like, people don't fail to realize that you, you were in a time where, like, the gun was loaded. Like, everybody was a gunslinger. Oh, yeah. Like, you had killers, man. These yeah. dudes was putting it up, man. Yeah, it you talk about that whole class, you talking about. ACC, Big East, like, you know what I mean? The, the, big, the Big East. The Big East, yeah. Yeah, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, the Southeast was, Conference. I mean, it was just... Yeah. It was just monsters, man. Yeah. It was just, it was just monsters. And no if, doubt. If you didn't bring it... Uh, People's gonna take your heart. Right, right, you know? right. And not take your heart by, by trying to intimidate you, but take your heart by I'm taking your game. Yeah, I need that. Like, yeah, need that. Yeah, what are you here you for? Like, really I need that. that. I need that scholarship. Yeah, yeah. You ain't right. that really all that. So when we stepped on the court, we, you know, we put in work. We right. Nice. You know? That's what's up, man. For real. Like, so, like, and like, like, as, as your mentor, as your mentors, I know Gustus was like in your ear mm -hmm. and everything. You had like, um. Ro, Ro Blackman oh, yeah, and them, yeah. right? Those, Rolando, those, that's like his buddy. Rolando, Rolando Blackman is my guy. Now, that's uh, what's you up. Know, Rolando, at the time when he was in the league, 
And that's how my development got a lot better because Coach Gustis was like, he was doing pro wanna, shit. If you want to take it to the next level, you're going to be a big guard. This is the so regiment. Let me show you who a big guard is. Right. And then I was introduced to Roe, and me and Roe have always, you know, shout out to Roe Blackman. Shout out to Roe. Get me better. So, uh, <laughs> Grady Falcon, right? Yeah, right. Here <laughs> we go. Corny Allen, Allen again. Yeah, Roe was Shout a big out to Roe Blackman. I was a big fan of his, and I, mean, I still am, and I was, you know, as, as, a, as, as, a, as, a, as a black man, but I was a big fan of him in Dallas. I always felt that him and Derek Harper was the like the best backcourt oh, yeah. in the was, league at that time, man. Like killers, he was a killer, and, man. And when yeah, you Alex out with English. Roe, yeah, you had to have that intensity because Roe is a very intense. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. He's about business, so that's how I I became so competitive because Coach Gus is like, if this is what you want, I'm gonna show you. Right, but you took care of yourself too coming up. Cause you were like you said, you were a bigger guard. You yeah, were in shape. Yeah, I was a bigger guard. Like yeah, you're strong. In shape, strong. Yeah. And, and, and did the right things, you know. So that it just got me better, you know. Hanging right. around the right people. Nah, absolutely. You know? Like you said, I never used to really get in trouble. Right, right. Wasn't a knucklehead, so. And then you going at it like with Ephraim and everything. He's like the top defensive kid in the oh, country. Yeah, like. Ephraim was a beast. You know? so, <laughs> no uh, doubt. Shout out, out to Ephraim. All the time. Right. So Gus's like Gus's influence was like, I know it's it's, it's as a coach, but he's still. Um, like um, acted as like a father figure oh, as all well, right. Definitely, definitely had your definitely best interests at heart. Definitely was a father figure because he was always tell, you know watch the pitfalls. Right. You know, watch watch out for this. These are the things you need to do to improve. These are the things you need to do to get better. And um, it wasn't just all about basketball. It's right. about Life skills. Right. You, know? you as a you as a yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Cared so about you. He, yeah. He, he's he's like you know like. Nah. We need we man. need it's we great. need those type of mentors and everything. Right. And like you know like myself I ha I had those and that's. That's important because it's such a um on in in the public eye, they act as if there's a quality it's a quality male shortage of positive black men, which we know is not true right. because we know we know they exist and everything. So Mr. Gustus, um, Roe Blackman and you know, and people in your family and in your neighborhood and everything, because it's crazy because once you become that guy, like the wolves are now oh, yeah. protecting oh, you yeah. through oh, coming yeah. from Brownsville oh, yeah. to wherever, and that's big, and they don't have that same camaraderie now. Right. So going into your senior year, like Gustus is on you. Oh yeah, and on me about my schoolwork, on me about everything, getting everything straight, and then it, it came down to start narrowing things down. And okay, we started to have that talk. Listen, you getting a lot of offers here. You know, I, I, I listen to kids now. They talk about, oh, I had four offers. I got six offers. When we played, I mean, we probably we get we get hundreds of offers. <laughs> right, 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 right. I tell you, so you know, it was time to start narrowing things down. Okay. Time for for college coaches. So what I did was, uh, I had to. I had so much. It was ridiculous. I narrowed it down to Wake Forest, Providence, Rutgers, Tennessee, and Wake. Uh, who's my? Was it Wake? I think it was Wake Forest. I think I said yeah, Wake, Wake Forest. Forest. Wake Forest, Tennessee, Tennessee, Rutgers, Rutgers. Sorry, UConn and Providence. UConn and Providence. Those were my final five. Okay. That I narrowed down because uh, I had to. It was right, so right, right. I had to just narrow it down, and then um, after I narrowed it down from there. Um, Process of elimination. It, yeah, I narrowed it down to UConn and Providence. Okay, so you want to stay in the east. Yeah, I want to stay, stay home, east. stay close to the family. We're definitely playing the Big East. Okay. At the time, and then um, the reason I chose Providence because it, it reminded me a lot of Nazareth, so smaller school, smaller okay. campus. Um, big time play. Right, right, but right. But it was just you know it was only like five, six thousand people on campus. So right, right. It was small, so that's why I wanted that small environment. Okay. Okay, so that's what's up. For me. That's what's up. So now you're going you're in your senior year. You're looking to choose. Now you're looking to choose your school. You navigate it down to Providence. You settled on Providence and everything. But um, I don't want to be forgetful, man. So, what was it like, man? Like to to at one point be the 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 leading scorer in New York City basketball, high school basketball. <laughs> To be honest with you, I I was just putting up buckets. I I never <laughs> that you, really realized that you were, and you finished you know, your. I wasn't really like focusing on. Yo, I want to be the number one. So I was just right. playing, and then on the, you know things started coming out. It's like yo, you know you like once Bill 10, Travis like, and him yeah, got yeah, a hold yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, they was like you know. <laughs> Don't you know you like that top New, 10 that to New York Newsday started yeah, posting it? Yeah, because you know back then we lived in the papers. Right. So it ain't like now. You right. Know, all this internet stuff. We was yeah. in, actually in the paper on the back page like the Knicks and all that. Yeah, you dudes had so, to pick that up know, every morning. You had to get the Newsday to post everything because yeah, you wanted to see so who was I doing what. Yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, man, I, I didn't, you mean of all time? I'm there and, you know, I was just, because I was just playing. Right. You know, and, and when you're doing things like that, you don't realize it. You're just playing. I wasn't seeking that. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Happened. It and what happened. what did you finish with? What was the total number you finished with? 
Over 2,600. 2,600, yeah, almost 3,000. Yeah, yeah. My God, put it up. Y'all hear that, man? Yeah, yeah almost Buckets, baby. Yeah, so that was a lot of points, man. And this was against guys playing defense, boxing ones. Oh, all that. Double <laughs> downs. <laughs> Double triple. Yeah, football yeah. players playing forward, oh, you know, man. coming in. You need to foul him now. Yeah, nah, that's what's up, though. Congrats on that, man. Yeah, that's yeah. huge, man. Yeah. That's huge, man. Just to be able to have that that in your lineage, man, to talk about to talk about how um you came you came about and and it's, again it's no disrespect to no communities and stuff like that but they don't talk about the successful people that come out of Brownsville, East New York, Bedford Stuyvesant and things of these natures man so definitely salute to you and for, on that man salute to your family and now you like at you a freshman like you embarking on on college you embarking on the Big East mm -hmm. Like, 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 what that feel like? How they embrace you? How did it? I mean, it was a, it was, it was, it was a big wake up call because you know when you're in high school, you the biggest, you the strongest, you the mm -hmm. fastest, you jump the highest. When you get at that level, everybody can do that. Number twelve is a yeah, tough kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, everybody, the twelfth dude on the bench is tough. High. Yeah, everybody can jump high. So you know, I went from all everything to having to work my way to to get in the way and to where you could fit in because you had to earn minutes. You right. Nobody wasn't giving you nothing because you this, you know, and all that stuff you did in high school was over with. Right. So had to, I had to work my butt off to, to get And who was your coach at Providence? Rick Barnes. Rick Barnes. Rick Barnes at Texas. And he yeah, went to Texas. Yeah. So, um, Shout out to Rick but Barnes. I, but I, I worked hard. You know, I, I got my minutes. You know, my freshman year, I think I averaged like about nine okay. points a game. And okay. And I did really well, man. And, and it was good. Really, really. I just had now to you, you got your feet wet. Yeah, yeah. You got your feet wet. But you also, you, you also learned, too. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, definitely. So that's what's up. So now, you know, nine points as a, nine points as a mm -hmm. freshman. And now we're going into our... Um, I was sophomore year. Oh, so, sophomore so year. The so yeah. the mindset. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bigger. Bigger. Stronger, you know, ready to compete, um, knowing the schedule for for classes. Did you punish the New York City circuit that summer? Freshman into freshman Oh, yeah, yeah. I came back and I was, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro, you got so much He was bigger. a man. Yeah, yeah, you look different. Yeah, so, nah. I, you know, I was lifting, getting stronger, had a great sophomore campaign. Okay. Um, and then from there, we I made the, um, uh, it was the tour team. Okay. Uh, you made the, you know, I was one of the top players and we traveled to Canada. Okay. Uh, Danny Hurley was on my team, Malcolm Huckabee, Travis Knight. Uh, I mean, we had a really, really good team and we toured. It was the Big East All Stars. And, um, you know, I got top acclaim, top scorer in that. So, once again, it got me ready for junior year. Okay. Okay. So on the touring team you had Danny Hurley, Marcus Huckabee. You went where you went to Boston College? Yeah, Malcolm Huckabee was at Boston College. I was never I was never a Danny Hurley fan. I just felt like, you know, I knew guards that were better than him or as a player right. and as a fan of the game, I'm looking and saying, ah, it should have been somebody else should have went there or did this or right. did that and I everything. Love Danny but the kid worked right. hard. The kid worked hard. I love Danny because he gave me the ball. Right, yeah, that's your man. Good point guard. You got a point guard that's gonna give you the ball. Yeah, right. That's I, my guy. Ideal. So, and you who were some of your teammates at Providence? Oh man, Michael Smith, uh Dickie Simpkins. You Eric Williams pro. that played with the Eric whole, whole, pro. My whole team was pro. His wife is the, the yeah, crazy uh, lady yeah, from the yeah, right yeah, reality yeah. show. Yeah, uh, Austin <laughs> that played with Austin Indiana Crochet, Bay, tough, was a tough. Um, uh, pff, man, Ira Bowman was my team. Austin Crochet is a big dude, man. Yeah, six eleven. Yeah, yeah six, but, eleven. but like broad, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a big yeah, six yeah. eleven, like. So you like, know, my whole front line, Eric Murdoch, Eric Murdoch. But that's my guy. That's my guy, Eric. He was a senior, your first year. So that's my guy, Milwaukee Buck. Pretzel pros. Right. Everybody was was real. Eric Murdoch was tough. Since yeah. you mentioned Eric Murdoch, um, I just want to ask you: Was there any friction on that team since you came, when you got over there? Nah, mm -hmm. Eric embraced me. Was teaching me everything. Sean was. But he had a pro body yeah, in yeah, college. He was wearing me out in practice. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, but he was. He knew he I was next in line. He knew you was so next, so he felt Eric, it. We talked to this the type. You know, he was. That's what's up. Tell him we need him on the show, yeah, man. Was, that's we easy. need. That's we easy. need Eric on the yeah, show, yeah. man. He, he, he helped me and everything. We used to battle. We used to compete. Right, now nah, you know, that's I was what's that up. Cocky freshman. He was that that senior that was smart. that established senior. Yeah, so you right. know, he you know he helped me out a lot. Nah, that's what's up. Shout out to Eric Murdoch, and that's what it is, man. It's like. Um, it's like you, it's great because you, you, you gotta be able to, um, take the criticism, mm -hmm. take the lumps and grow and grow. Yep. And, and grow. And now you had a guy who had took his lumps, was established. And even though he's helping you, I know he's thinking about the next level because right. he was a pro, yeah, he was, he was you know what I mean? He just got drafted. Yeah. And, you know, we was very so, happy for him. At that time we was working out, next thing you know. He the 14th pick in the, in the draft right. to Utah. So, nah, that's dope. You know, we was happy for him. 
And so, like, like in in the in the biggies, excuse me, in the biggies, like, did you make all twenty? I mean, like big- yes, yes. So uh, we had the biggies tournament. Um, I was uh, made all tournament team. Nice. Um, played really well. Um, we won the biggies championship. Nice. I nice. remember that game. I was at the garden with Phil. We was yeah. running around the garden. <laughs> That's where you could walk around the garden. Yeah, right, right, right. I remember my man Rob was sitting threes and all that. We jumping around. <laughs> Going yeah, crazy. crazy. Rob had, man. Rob had that energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was going you know in. Mean? Yeah, yeah nah, that's a, it but a it's crazy game. though because you went from a uh back to the basket player to a face up player to a high flyer to running the perimeter and everything, like really grooming your game, you know, for the next level. Right, right. You know what I mean? Now you at now you at this level at Providence and you're doing all the things that was possibly the knock on you coming in. He doesn't put the ball in the floor right. well. Right. They see you slashing. Yeah. How will he? How will he be in a one four spread? Yeah. You yeah. know, because you all know, as, things, yeah, because yeah, as a as a basketball fan and as a guy who played the point, you know, I know what it's like when you got these you got these these goon, these goons. Yeah. I call my guys goons because they tough, right. and everybody likes the ball different places and everything. And you got to grow and everything. So you know, really, um. A, a lot of props to you on that because, you know, a lot of New Yorkers, we leave and we'll go somewhere. As soon as it's not working out for us, first right. thing is, oh, coach ain't feeling me. You know what I mean? Coach ain't give me, coach ain't give me my minutes and dudes is ready to quit now. Well, it really wasn't like out. the way guys just can transfer right. now. now. Back then, guys would, you know, earn right. stripes and, you know, yeah. just keep working and, and get better and you stay with it. And it's you also, too, it's, it's, it's funny you say that because I, I deal with that, like, when I'm coaching on the AAU circuit and everything. The, a lot, and it's no again, no assassination, nobody, but it's the reality. A lot of these parents are enabling these kids because soon as just they don't like something, they're ready to move them. Right, right. I remember when my son was playing. I told him, once you sign up, that's your team. That's, that's, you. that's, that, that's, that's it. So how'd you how'd you end it? How'd you end it at Providence? Oh, great, man. The, the, the most important thing, I, I got my degree. Salute, man. Um, I got my Congrats. degree in sociology there, and um, finished up really well we, we we did well we made it to the tournament three okay. three years out of my four nice and we went to the tournament we lost in the first round we lost in alabama they had uh jason caffey antonio yeah. mcdice yeah james robinson yeah, yeah right, had, right, was, right jamal was on that team jamal right. was on that team as well they was tough they beat us and um then after that we came back and i started getting calls i didn't know how all this stuff worked i just started getting calls from agents and stuff okay you know, tryout camps i got invited to Port Smith, different uh, NBA camps. Right. Made it for the last cuts of the Dallas Mavericks. At the okay, time. nice. And then, you know, they wanted me. I played in the CBA for a year, but then I just went overseas. Stayed okay. Over there for 12 where'd, you, where'd you head at overseas, Oshie? Man, I was Italy, Spain. I was in Japan. Had the EEU pass, huh? Yeah, I was well, any, all over. Anywhere man. you want yeah, in your Eastern over, Europe. Man. I was all over. Um, it was great, you know, made made some money, made great friends. Right, right, and then did that, great networking. Yeah, yeah, great networking. Then after that, I came back. And, and it, it got to feel good. It got to feel good for um, a kid from the hood, man. Mm-hmm. Now you live in Greece. Now you live in Italy. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Things different. You went that good, that good Italian linen. Listen, man, right? you know one mean? thing I tell people uh, <laughs> all the time, if you go to Italy or you go to China or you go to Japan, when you go to Italy, you're going to eat pa- pasta in the morning. You're going to eat pasta <laughs> in the afternoon. for lunch. You're going to eat pasta for dinner. My man. When you go to China or Japan, you're going to eat rice noodles, in the morning. Rice in the morning. And you know what I'm saying? Right, so right, you right. Get used you to will adapt to the cultures. Got to learn to adapt to the culture. Right. And like I said, one thing about me, because I was a you know a high character person, I got along with everybody. Right, right. I never had any issues. And coaches, they always wanted me to come back and... And um, I've never had it went to a team and they didn't want me to come back. Okay, because, beautiful. You know, I was a good guy. With nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And so and overseas, how many years was it total? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, 12. Nice, nice. Good career. Good career. Good career. That's dope, man. Yeah, congrats to you for that, man. Like you know, you know your your family has to be yeah, extreme, extremely yeah, proud great. of you. And then everything. right after that, I finished up. I came back and I got my master's degree. Oh, that's what's up. And then Salute. I got my master's, got yeah. My master's in education. That's what's and up. That's what led me up to what I'm doing now. Okay, okay, okay. Well, take us there. Well, where right we now, at now? You know, you know, most of the people that know, I'm at Bedford Academy. Okay. I've Shout out Bedford, to Bedford, Bedford Academy. Yeah, I've been at Bedford for 14 years. Shout out to Elise Wiggins. Yeah, my yeah, niece. definitely. You know, Elisha Wiggins, my the, niece. I was about to say, yeah, you had family, one of my girls. You know. Um, yes. No, uh, it was just a, a, a shout great, out to Coach Kendra yeah, Nelson, great, man. Great situation there, you know. I've been there. I can't believe it's going on 14. Years. Yeah, I'm really. I I I like the program. I liked um 
what Brother Muhammad is doing, man. As again, as a black man and as a leader and the structure that he's um instilling in the kids, man. It's like you know, like I didn't even know even when 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 Alicia was there, I didn't even know that they had a forensics program. Yeah, and they got a it's forensics program at a public school program, on Bedford Avenue. A lot of stuff, man. Dope. Right there, right? It's a, it's a great school, man. It's like all about academics, man. You know, yeah. sports is good. Cause like for um over in Bedford, like what's the um. For, for your kids to play, they you have must to have an 80 average. 80 average to play. 80, 80, 80 average, you cannot 80 play. 80 average, you cannot play. You hear that? That's dope. That's right. You want to be an athlete? You want to be a student who became an athlete. Right. You know what I mean? It's definitely books before ball. Definitely. You know, that's what's up, though. So tell us, man. So, um, what, what 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 are you doing there other than coaching? Like, are oh, you, well, I, I'm the dean. You're the dean? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I've been there for uh, 14 years dealing with, you know, just building it. I'm not like the traditional dean where you're getting on kids. Yeah, right, right. It's I'm, different. I'm building their character. Embracing them. Embracing right. them, trying to build them up, dealing with all the, the different issues that's going on with them. And, you know, I'm, I'm putting my degree to work. Right now, that's so, dope. That's dope. Um, so between sociology and education, yep, definitely. Yep. So, and then again, your character, too. Because I, you know, I remember days coming up to the school right, and I see right. you walking through the hall and yep. he's shuffling. So I'm saying, I know that's the basketball coach. I know I know him as a person, right. but they're definitely moving like, you know what I mean? My man, my man is not playing <laughs> with him. That's dope. Run, run, run the tight ship over Nah, there. but that's dope, and, um, though. And they got a, um, everyone that graduates there graduates with a Regents Diploma, right? Definitely. Or oh, Advanced Regents Diploma. Advanced Regents yeah, Diploma. Your, your, your cousin. Uh, my niece. Your niece. Yes. She has one. Yeah, right, yes, yes. yes. She went on the Alfred diploma. State, you know what I yeah. mean? Got and I never two knew y'all was related until I saw you at the game Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you was like, yeah, that's my little, I was like, oh, man, that's yeah. a, at least that's my girl right Yeah, there. she tough. She yeah, was tough. Good, yeah. yeah, good kid. Yep, good, yep. Good, good girl. And um, again, too, it's like, you know, with, with the family structure, you know what I mean? And then, and then what she, what her having you guys and everything pushed us. So, like, with Bedford, like, tell us about, like, like, like your team, your, like, your program. Well, we um, do. Some of the players do, you had. Yeah, we do uh, very well. Um, you know, we're an A division team. Okay. Um, but we, you know, I schedule us against. You had what? was you had the guard from St. Francis, right? Yeah, Brent, 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 Brent Jones, Brent. one of my kids. Brent Jones, uh, good kid. So we get we get kids from all levels, division. And he's in levels. China now. Yeah, he's playing right, in China. Right, right. Yeah. Salute to Brent division, Jones and his brother one Bryce. Levels, we get kids in the division two levels. I get kids in the division three levels. You had one of my kids um a couple of years ago um Luke. Yes. Yeah, yes, Luke. Luke, yeah. tough. Yeah, tough. Luke, yes, I, I never tell kids. Only look for Division One schools. Right, right, right. I, I tell them, you never deny no school because you never know what can happen. You never tell a school no. I just had uh, one of my kids, uh, he transferred to me uh, from Bishop uh, Lachlan, Waha Johnson. Okay. Great, great kid. Good. And Wahad you had the other guard, too, because I remember when you had him, um, uh, from Brevoy, Darren. Little, yeah, little yeah, Darren. Yeah, I mean, this kid was in, like, the championship every year. Every year. Like, every junior year. high school yeah, all, all the way up. Through. <laughs> Public school, junior high school, yeah, little so, you know, shout we, out to Darren. You know, oh, man. There, you know, the academics is first, the basketball is second, and then we always tell them, like, in between, make sure your you can't do it is the character. Yeah, your can do it is the character. Right. Yeah, your con, your Right. And, um, if you do all those three things, you know, doors are going to open for you. Right, So right. that's what I stress with the guys, you know, and um, we've been very successful. Very right, that's successful. what's up. It's that's going great. Going that's great. what's up. That's what's up. And you deal and you deal with um, N1? Yes. Right, yes, N1? Yes. yes, I've been with N1 for, uh, this is going on five years now. That's what's up. And they do a great job um, with, with the school, uh, with the kids. Um, I mean, we get whatever we want. They, they really right, take that's care of the kids. Um, you know, the kids get so much stuff, they don't ever have to pay for anything. Mm -hmm. They really look out for the kids. Nah, that's so dope. It's a, great, it's a great program, man. Nah, that's um, dope. That's dope. And do, again, man, so, again, again, salute to you, man, for just having that structure, man, and staying in. Because, you know, we have a bunch of people that left New York, didn't come back, right. whatever, or a bunch of people who don't want to deal with the politics and stuff like that. And the fact that you endure it and, and, and you're doing such a... A great job at Bedford with the, with the graduation rate, mm -hmm. with your young men, with the with the young ladies and your influence and everything. So really, um, salute to you on that, man. Definitely proud of y'all on that. That's that's well, big. Well, I just want to commend, you know, say thanks to you guys for help getting this message out and and giving me this platform to talk yeah, about yeah. myself, talk about the school. And I appreciate you. Know, so you. I want to let everybody know they should tune in and and talk about all the great things and what you guys are doing. So you have a um. Like you have, um, you have your own camp too, right? Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, we have a. I'll get into that. We right, have a, right. A non for profit. Um, it's called RP Twenty Two. Okay, Rob that's Phelps your number, Rob Phelps. Yeah, Rob Phelps. I wore Twenty Two in college too, so, so you know, yeah. Rob, Rob Dudes, dudes, baby. It's called Rob Phelps Twenty Two Basketball, and basically what that is is that we run camps and clinics okay. for kids, and we also the kids that come to our club they don't have to pay. 
Nice. Sponsored. Nice. Come in, but we don't take like hundreds of kids. We take like 15 or 20 kids at a time. Right. And we also run session. Yeah, for session. Nice. We also help them with, with, with sneakers. We give okay. them supplies. Um, we do that every summer. And uh, it's been going great, you know. So it's, it's nah, a that's what's up, though. RP22, man. RP Check that out, man. RP22basketball.com. Look it up. RP22basketball.com, man. Get your kid engaged, man. You know, as you parents, you know, check in, man. You know, salute, man. Just send a, send, send a like, man. Leave a comment. Say thank you. You know what I mean? Whatever, man. Like, send, leave, leave them a message, man. Yeah, we we go deserve go. that. I'm, I'm, I'm finally figuring out all the... The, the social, social media. media. Oh man, welcome. R P twenty two basketball. And I go to my R niece R for that. Twenty two <laughs> basketball. I'm on Facebook. I got all the social media outlets. That's and what's the way up. I learned this stuff, man. My son. My, yeah. my son, Lil Rob. He 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 shows me a lot about this. Uh, Yo, this, I have a, a four year old grandson. He asked for my phone. I give him my phone. He's waiting. I'm looking at him like, what are you waiting for? He said, what's your code? <laughs> I said, I don't have a code. Right. Yo, he gave me the ultimate look of disgust. Yeah, like, what are like, you doing? You don't have a code? code? <laughs> like, are you wilding, yeah, Papa? Yeah, yeah, the kids, the kids know, man. And my son, he helps me a lot with my social media. Nah, that's dope. And, um, you know, I got it down. Yeah, yeah. Lil' Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Lil' Rock. Helping you run an empire. Well, Pac scene, I don't really want to talk about it like that. Got it. Yeah, fight. it's in the DNA, huh? Problem, yeah, and he's a lefty. Oh, yeah, man. Lefty. God yeah. damn it. So, I hate lefties, especially ones that play right-handed. So he got, you know, <laughs> just keep working and get that stuff done. He got a chance, man. He right. Chance. Now, that's what's up. And plus, also, too, he got he, he got an anchor. So, you know, when you when you have that, that that's a plus for him, too. So how, I mean, you know, this is, this is a trying time, man. So how, how have you been really, like, functioning? Like, did it affect you mentally at any state? And with this COVID-19 and everything? Like, because we lost so many people, Yeah, man. well, you know, uh, you know, long before I know Pat probably knows. You know, I lost my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. In, in yeah, yeah, February, yeah, yeah. you know. Oh, my, con my condolences, man. Um, Rest in peace to Miss Phelps. So, you know, I definitely was one of the people that got affected, right. you know, with the whole COVID and everybody passing. So, yeah. you know, it's going to be a year coming up. That oh, I wow, man. Home. Condolences. So, uh, definitely. I understand what everybody's going through. And I always talk to my kids, talk to my son, talk to my family, talk to my players, talk to the people out there. The mental health thing is very yeah. serious. Um, you know, people need to take time, concentrate, you know, take care of themselves. Right. Drink a lot of water. Go work out. You know, do mm -hmm. you know? Change your routine up, you know, because it's very important. You know, I do it every day. Nah, you know, it's I, dope. I, I drink my water. I get my uh, Phil. You send me my Seymour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been taking a Seymour. Phil, give a shout yeah. out to brother Phil. Yeah, you know, shout out to Phil. I've been taking a Seymour. Send my yeah, tea, man. So, doing better. I've been drinking my black seed oil. Yeah. Been doing walk. I'm actually down. I'm actually down 20 pounds, man. Great, so, man. That's great. and and I'm trying because I'm getting older, man. Yeah, I just don't want to get no, get I don't get no water. <laughs> yeah. so, you you know, heard? I, I do that. I, I live it, man. I but go, I go to the gym. I go and work out all the time, and it keeps me right. Right, nah, that's what's up, though, man. And like, yo, like seriously, man. Just like the communication, because like I got to tell people all the time, like, like we knew each other for years, right. and it's always a mutual respect thing, and and and. and and when we run into each other and everything, but I'm always rooting for you. I'm yeah, always, I'm, I'm, that. I'm always rooting for you guys. And I tell people, listen, this is a good program, it's a good school, but it's 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 demands. Yes. Don't be afraid of the demand. Right. You know what I mean? So, just give me a brief synopsis, man, for the listeners and everything. Let them know what like bridging the gap means to you, and how and how do you impose it in, like in your day to day? Well, the number one thing, the way you bridge a gap is you, you don't run from it. Okay. So if you have challenges, you know confront it and then that's how one way of bridging the gap and so what i always tell people all the time if you need help you need assistance don't run from it seek it out and if you seek things out more more things will come for you so that's yeah. my biggest issue with bridging the gap because that that bridge that gap can stay there because if you keep running for it the gap yeah, it's only gonna get bigger bigger so what i say is just meet it meet that challenge you yeah. know it's going just like when you play basketball you're not going to make every shot but you got to keep shooting. Oh, absolutely. So just like when you're having difficulties or issues, meet it. You know, go through your ups and downs. Go through your adversity. And like we were talking about, a lot of people, they run from adversity. Yeah. Nah, you got to stay with it. That's you know, what builds you. It is so hard, too, man, because so many people are afraid or just unable to be, quote, unquote, completely naked with their situation. They don't know how to say they need help. They don't know how to say, um... I'm, I'm in a bind or, or whatever the case may be because a lot of times people take what someone brings to them and they yeah. run with it. So, like, they've, they've, they've been in hurt, but not that you may. You may well, like, I, um, I got something to say about that. It's two, I, say this to, I say this to my son. 
Some people are afraid of failure, and some people are afraid of success. Okay. And let me break it down to you. When people fail, they be like, oh, I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to do this hard. When people are successful, they don't want to do it no more. You know why? Because when you're successful, that means you got to do it over and over, over and, and over, over again. again. So it makes a lot of sense. So some people are afraid of success and some people are afraid of failure. Mm. You can't be afraid of it. You got to attack it. Nah, no doubt. So no I doubt. always tell that. I tell that to people all the time. Don't be afraid of success and don't be afraid of failure. It's very nah. important. Nah, I definitely, um, I definitely co um, commend you for um, just sharing and, and, and enlightening the people and everything. Because like, we have a thing here we always say. One, we're rooting for everybody hustling. But the hustle is so different for so many people. But more importantly, we encourage that you know who you are. However, and more important than that is that you know who you are not. Because acting like someone you are not will put you in situations that you're not prepared to deal with too or people can't help you out of. You know, so as a, from, from one brother to another and everything, I, you know, I just want to again thank you for what you're doing. Keep winning, keep putting pressure, because it's time for the Jeffs and everybody else to relinquish, man. It's time to relinquish, man. We want new blood, we want new blood, but it's dope because, you know, it's, it's so many people that are, are working and fighting it, and I want to thank you for keep teaching the game, because, like, you know, my argument with people all the time, and shout out to my boy, Dame Lawrence, man. Like, Dang, we, all, yeah, we always say, man, that the biggest problem with basketball right now is, um, it's too much availability. Mm -hmm. Too many people, everybody got a team. Right. You know what I mean? But um, again, thank you for coming, first and foremost. And more importantly, let the people know how they can get in touch with you one more time. Well, they because can um, go to my social media, Rob Phelps 22 Basketball. Um, that's my Instagram. Or they can get me, reach me on Twitter, Rob Phelps. I'm okay. on Twitter now. I've never had a Twitter man. account. Twitter Yo, account. he's a whole yeah, adult yeah, right now. Oh, I got Twitter. So he got Twitter. And, and if they want to know more about the RP22 basketball, they can go there as well. Okay. RP22basketball.com. And Dope. there's a lot of information there as well. So, Dope. you know, you know, I, like I said, you know, I just want to give a shout out to, of course, you know, my family, my wife, my, my son. Uh, give a shout out to Bedford Academy. Shout give out Give a salute. shout out to you, brother. Shout out to my man, Phil. Um, shout out it. to the post. Yo, um, Phil, I need some Seymours, you know, too. Let me know the tab, know. man. I need that ASAP. And also, get one pack. last shout out. I want to give a shout out to my nephew, Justin Mascal, who plays for Clemson University. So everybody that's go and watch. Up. Go and Justin watch number Mascal. seven. Justin Mascal. That's my nephew. That's and dope. And ready to play Ohio State. So uh, everybody go out and support my nephew. No doubt. And I want to thank everybody that's tuning in, man. Everybody pay attention. We at our new location, the Post BK. I mean, this is this is huge, man. They're doing so much in the community, man. The post is going big on. Three, big three. Huh? King Roach in the building. Yeah, shout out to King Roach, man. The big three, man. You know, I got my guys, Pat Alphonse, King Roach, man. You know, the boy Nard, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just want to thank Rob for coming. You know what I mean? Appreciate thank you. you. Guys, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you not. Thank you, man. This is huge, man, because I know I know what it's like, man. And all y'all other podcasts, y'all look out for us, man. We coming, man. We <laughs> being we are definitely gonna change the narrative, man. So salute to you, man. And we out. Peace. Well, Peace. we out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
It's a whole new world. Everybody's locked up in their own homes, scared to leave the house, looking for any escape, taking a hit off a fat joint and leaving this place faster than an anime intro. I can see you. I live in the airwaves that conquers your commute. The extra push you need every day to power your way to the top of the pyramid. The window you stare out of as you forget your problems. The light you turn on to see. There are no limits here. Nothing can stop us from enjoying each other. No one to judge us. Nothing to be wary of. Welcome to Wake and Bake That World, my filthy little corner of the internet. And if you're ready to enter the new world order of radio, then become a citizen today.